All right, truck fans, welcome in. It's What the Truck Wednesday. Tom here with Russell. We have got some good stuff here for you today. If you are a second-gen Xterra fan, get your wallets out. We're taking your money today. Yeah. Not D41. much of it. D41 owners, too. D41, get your wallets out. We're taking care of y'all. Who else have we got? Big time. Actually, we're going to give something away today. Yeah, to make up the difference. Yes. So all you guys chipped in. You allowed the winner to win a set of Nismo off-road lights. Yeah. That major announcement coming up. Stay tuned. It's it's in this video. It's not at the end. So don't just skip. It's somewhere in there. And if you watch us sped up on YouTube, if you hit the speed thing, we have embedded data in the video that will slow it down. Yes. Not really. It will skip over that part. Yeah, AI just does it for us. We're ready to go. Um, so I put together... Tom did this a long time ago for some other vehicles, and I was a little jealous, and I wanted to get in on the action. So You shouldn't have been jealous. Though. I think we maybe sold three kits of uh, all those kits I spent like four days putting together looking up part numbers. <laughs> it took so long to get all those. It was worth it, though. I mean, somebody's going to find it and appreciate it. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that everybody who did order one is stoked that they were able to just get a kit. But They um, were so stoked they didn't even send an email to thank me for all my hard work. Yeah. So D41 owners, so you 23 and up, um, also D40 if you have the, the last year with the 3.8 motor in it. It's all the same. Um, but I put together a kit. You got the engine air filter. Now this is a stand-in because we are sold out of the actual filter for the um, Frontiers. But this is for Titan. Um, it's, a, it's almost the same filter. Uh, and then we have in cabin filter, and you have two choices. Do you remember when the carbon filters were very expensive compared to the regular 08? I do. Um, these are about 20 cents difference. So go with the charcoal then. Yeah. Um, I made two separate kits just in case you're particular. Maybe you just don't, you like charcoal, get it out of here. It's from a barbecue only. Yeah, I'm doing charcoal all day, every day. You see that charcoal is. Yeah, it's even got a little um, extra seal on it, which is kind of cool. Um, Get the engine oil filter. Now that 3.8 sounds like beef. The kidding me. 3.8 liter has a filter that nothing else uses. Um, this is the only vehicle slash motor that uses this oil filter. Make sure you get the right filter. Nissan's been using a lot of special filters on engines on the newer models. I know. When I help out pulling parts, I have to, I, I just look up every oil filter now. I don't yeah, know what it is. It's difficult. Unless you get something older and then you like if, and 07 Xterra rolls through, you know it takes an eye will filter. Right. You're right. I still double check because you never know. Yeah. Um, and, and the funny thing is, is Nissan used to do that. Some of the vehicles would come from the factory with a filter with was one number, and then in the catalog it'd be another, and it was like a, a break-in filter. That's the filter from the factory they wanted you to run. Um, but they've gotten really sensitive about what you use on the vehicles. Uh, there, there's a part number, and I can't remember what it fits. It might fit the Altimus, the newer Altimus. But there's an oil filter that's been and really hard to get. Nissan's got a little restriction for us. And they explicitly said, do not use a different filter. We would rather the customer not get their oil changed than put another filter on there. And, I, I mean, that tells me that, okay, they're not playing games. There must be like a drain back valve or something. Something. Yeah, There's. I, I don't know. I'm not up on the oil filter technologies. I know there's, you know, it, to me it seems like snake oil a lot of times, but. OEM, OEM, go OEM, and you will not have a problem. <laughs> right. And if you do, it's your own. Now, what else does that kit come with? Uh, wiper blades. Wiper blades, nice. Um, 18 inch and 24 inch is what your Frontier uses. If you, you know, if you're particular and you're like, I want Rain X blades on my car, or I want Bosch on my car, then by all means, go buy those. Um, I, I'm, you know, I like OEM blades, um, but. You know, all this stuff is sold separately. So, and if you go to one of the kits, I'll put links in the description. If you go to the kit, there's a whole product list with a link to the products that are in the kit. So if you're like, I just want to get an oil filter today, you can get an oil filter. The only thing we're not giving you is oil. Uh, right. Because we stock everything in bulk. So unless you send us some milk jugs and some garbage bags. <laughs> some good Ziplocs. <laughs> um, yeah, I went down a, a wiper rabbit hole a few years ago. I wanted to try and find, you know, American made wipers and that they don't exist yeah now they're all either um 
made in Mexico mm -hmm. or China. And these are the ones I put on, excuse me, on my own personal vehicles. And they're awesome. Yeah. I mean, nowadays wipers last, what, two years? Up here they do because you're they're on all the time. Um, but they're good quality. I put them on all my vehicles. Yeah, it's funny. These um, these didn't work very well on my wife's Ford. I ended up having to get Ford OEM plates. Really? It, it, I think it's just the way that the Ford windshield was curved. It was like missing a spot in the middle. I swapped them out. It did the same thing. But I, we don't have any issues with Nissans with these. Right. I've got them on my Toyota. Yeah. We put yeah we put them on different makes all the time as long as the hook is the J hook, you know, the standard J hook. All these manufacturers have gotten away from standard um, J hooks on some of their cars. I don't. Why? 60 bucks for wiper blades, but they want you to pay it. It's wild. That's out of control. What else is in this kit? That's it. Copper washers. Copper washer. I almost waiting on the copper washer. I shouldn't know. But yeah, copper washer. Don't forget the copper washer. We always tell you, and I almost did. I know, and I always forget about it mm -hmm. until like it's time to put it all back together. It's like, dang it. And those are definitely one time use only crush washers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, you've got a little something that you found for... Um, the Xterra. Yeah, I thought these were discontinued because I have been keeping my eyes on them. Nissan had like two left, maybe going back mm -hmm. six months ago or so. We got them in, we sold them, and then they were gone. And then one popped up maybe three months ago. I placed it in order with Nissan for it. It finally showed up uh, last week. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted to double check because I wanted to try and plug it here on the video. And now Nissan has them. Um, so, yeah, 2005 through 2015, Xterra retractable rear cargo cover. Uh, it's a uh, gray in color, snaps into place real easy. Yeah. And, um, yeah, if you want to keep all your goodies stashed and hidden away, this is the thing you want to get. To me, if you have a, a hatch or an SUV or anything like that with a rear door that opens all the way up, the, the security cover is the must-have because they pop right out. So if you're folding down the seats and need the extra room, you can just take it right out. Or if you just need to take it out because you're filling it up to the roof. Yeah, it says in here, I was looking at these instructions. I have not confirmed this, by the way. These are Nissan details. Um, it says when you're not using it, you can store it under the cargo area floor when not in use. Believe it when I see it. So, yeah, if you have one of these already, let me see you uh, store it away in your under your trunk. I can't. I'm sure I've opened the floor of an Xterra before, but I cannot recall Right. I know I've been in the cargo area of them before because I, I think it's really cool. I like them. You just go in there and close the door and sit and think. Relax. Slide around because it's all plastic back there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no problems at all. Yeah, but check it out. The website um, part number is on the screen. We got the best prices in town for this thing. Yeah. Um, let's announce the winner for the Nismo 4-inch off-road square light kit. It's a lot of words. Yes. It's really hard. I got stumbled up because I was looking at the description on the box. I wanted to see what it said. Uh, but these are rigid lights. They made them for Nismo, Nismo branded, all that good stuff. Um, little robot randomized all the comments. Thank you for your comments if you jumped in the video. Uh, a lot of comments for these, for these yeah, lights. Yeah. Um, Stephen D9824. Thank you. Uh, participating and congratulations yeah get it just reach out to tom at parts at nissanparts.cc and we will get you these super cool fog lights and a sticker pack and some stuff some high juice always hook you up um while we're on that because this video kind of went off we got a lot of views on it a lot of comments a lot of likes um we were up to fifty three thousand subscribers 53 when was it you bought those balloons? Was that for 10K or was that for 20K? That was like, that was, that was for 10K. And that was, Jeez. that was probably November, December. Okay. I would guess. I could be wrong. It could have been later, but it wasn't that long ago. It was less than eight months. I'll tell you that. Have you looked at the details to see where all these people are based? I don't know. Did we get to see that? I haven't been looking. No, I, 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 I can, I, but I haven't. I'd be curious to probably, see. Probably still Indonesia, which shout out. To our Indonesian, yeah, French, um, yeah. So that's that. I went down. I'm going to go on a little bit of a side topic here, okay? Because I want to talk to you guys because I trust our subscribers. We did this last week. I told you guys how much I trust you. Um, Implicitly, I I am 
I follow a lot of the Nissan groups on Reddit because I like to see what people are talking about, if there's problems with vehicles, if there's things people are looking for. You know, where can we help? Because we want to help. Right. We love to learn. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you want to go down a negativity mm-hmm. rabbit hole, go there. And you will just, I mean, and maybe I'm just a little sensitive because I've worked in dealerships forever, but they hate dealerships. Everybody hates the dealer. And I think that's like, that to me, it's it's a reminder that we do this so that you don't have to hate the dealership. You can hate all the other dealerships, but you should love us because <laughs> I think we put in a lot of extra work. I think we care about what you got going on. We don't, you know, I don't think that, you know, pennies and dimes are the number one goal here. We're here to help. And I just, I, I you know, people tell stories and they they have a right to hate the dealerships. But, you know, tell your tell your nanny, tell your Paul Paul, tell your aunt and uncle, come see us. We'll take care. Have you ever had a bad dealership experience? Um Well, I have never I've never not had a family member working at a dealer or um I mean I'm I'm sure I have to some extent. I'm not gonna call anybody out. Um but I have had to bring my car back a couple of times to get some things fixed. But they were fixed. There was no questions asked, no issues. Uh, I think that's where it comes in. Did you get it up for extra money to get it fixed properly? Did I pay extra money? Yeah. When like, oh, well, you also needed this. <laughs> no, I uh, I will tell you this, though. And you know that my wife's car broke down in Vancouver, Washington. I had to, I had to deal with the local O'Reilly's there. Uh-huh. Um, if we could get the... The people from the O'Reilly's in Vancouver all to move up to Olympia, I would buy all my parts from O'Reilly's. Really? That I need. Because they were awesome. Every single person in that store helped me when I was there because I went in a hundred times. <laughs> they, they were awesome. Yeah, that's cool. Um, and the shop that took care of it, fixed the car, got it back on the road was great too. Um, but, I mean, I've seen customers here have bad experiences. Rightfully, you know, they would have a reason to be mad sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've also seen people be very well taken care of. And sometimes it's a person you're dealing with. Right. Sometimes it's the dealer. Sometimes it's the GM. We have a good GM. Yeah. We have good CFO. We have good owner. Anyway, I'm done ranting. (laughs) That's a weird rant. But that's just, you know, don't jump in the hate the dealership pool too quick. Yeah. I had a bad experience with a dealership. Yeah. But that was, this was, at an Isuzu dealership, so that tells you how long ago that was. <laughs> I took my Isuzu Trooper in because the uh, clutch was making a noise. Yeah. Like you just, and then you step on the clutch and it would go away. Okay. Take your foot off the clutch. So I went into the dealership. And they said, yeah, you need a new clutch. Got all new clutch. Went to pick it up. Yeah, it's ready. Went to pick it up, getting the, you know, the drive through to take off. Yeah. Starting up. Same the clutch. It's still there. Yeah. Said, hey, this thing's not fixed. Oh, yeah, it's fixed. I said, no, it's making the same noise that I brought it in for. So they got the shop foreman out. He listens to it, puts his foot on it. He goes, oh, yeah, you need an input shaft pushing. So they were right there. Well, you needed a clutch anyway. And I was like, it was running fine. There was no problem. So that was a bit of a bummer. I can't remember what. I think I had them give me like half my money back or the labor back and well, at least they took I just care. dealt with that noise. So I was going to say, because I, I could 100% see some dealers being like, oh, well, you know, we fixed that problem and now here's another one. So now you got to pay labor to tear it down again, right. which would have been just paying double the labor because I don't know how much better. I, I get it. You know, you get burned once by a dealership and then you're sour forever. And then you, there's that reputation that people have, you know, going into the dealership. They already, you know, the odds are stacked against us that we're going to. Yeah, I I, I watched happy. I watched a video last night on TikTok where a guy was he had been calling around trying to find he he does lives on TikTok and he was calling around I never watched this guy until last night he calls around trying to buy uh, a TRD Forerunner and basically while he's on air uh, this dealer calls him back and he's trying to haggle with the dealer and I don't think he was asking too much he was just I mean he flat out was just like I'm, I want to feel like I got some kind of deal here like he says this the guy God won't budge. So much so that the guy said, hey, go talk to your manager. And he said, well, I'm not going to do it because he's going to agree with me. And I think that's the kind of thing that really bugs people mm-hmm. is that sometimes it's like dealership employees just want to stand their ground to prove a point rather than just trying to be helpful. 
I think I've actually done that. Oh, we all have. I think we all have. I think that, you know, sometimes, you know, I think if, there's just sometimes when people cross a line with you where you're just like, yeah, I don't want to help you. Right. Um, I, you know, I'd rather you just go buy from somebody else kind of thing. And we don't feel that way very often. I'm going to tell you right now, we love you guys. All right. This is, this has gone on long enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you for watching these videos. Thank you for getting involved. Believe in comments, likes, um, subscribe if you want to share with your friends, share with your friends and, uh, come back on Friday. We're doing a video, a Friday video, right? Yeah, I think so. We've got a giveaway. Russell doesn't know about this, but I'm bringing something from my personal collection. Nice. That is going to make everybody happy. There's not one person that's not going to like this, this giveaway. Get in, get in the comments and tell us your good and or bad dealership experiences because I want to know about them. Yes. Because preventative maintenance for me and Tom. We want to know where they went wrong so we never do it. Right. And if your positive uh, dealership experience is with us, it's okay to leave that comment too. Yeah, go on our website. Leave us a review through Google. We appreciate that too. <laughs> All right. Bye. See you guys.